Well, I think the first thing to recognize is that there are several different types of fatigue associated with MS. I think the major type that you're speaking of is so-called primary MS fatigue. That's the extraordinary fatigue so characteristic of MS that doesn't take effort to precipitate it, that comes on unexpectedly, is overwhelming, often comes on in the early afternoon. Often, and this is one of the very peculiar features to MS fatigue, may be temperature sensitive, may be worsened by hot, humid weather. I don't think there's any other disease where that's true of fatigue. Uh, and really is completely divorced from duration of MS or severity of MS. In other words, you could have a very mildly affected MS patient, and yet they could have such overwhelming primary MS fatigue that literally they're unable to function because of it. That's an extraordinary primary MS fatigue. Of course, there are also other sorts of fatigue that occur in MS. There's the fatigue of depression. There's the, there's the fatigue of sleep deprivation. There's the fatigue uh, of overuse where somebody may have significant disability and it takes great effort for them to do things or get around and therefore they are going to expend greater amounts of energy and therefore uh, be fatigued as well. So I think of, of fatigue as multifactorial, but obviously it's particularly the primary MS fatigue that we're interested in.